Hello. Good day, rhinos. Happy Friday. Come on in. Happy Friday. Can you believe it's another Friday? Hi, Miss Frida. Welcome, welcome, welcome in. Can you believe the days fly like crazy? I'm telling you, I almost did not know it was Friday. Why is my buttons making so much noise? I almost did not know it was Friday. Hi, welcome, James. Welcome, Michael. Welcome, welcome. Hi, St. George. St. George, you need to tell me your right name again because I will keep calling you that. <laughs> I think you said it wasn't. Hi, Richard. Welcome, welcome, Rhinos. Happy to see you. Happy to see you. It's raining cats and dogs here in Jersey. It is cold. I'm not sure what the weather is doing. Two days ago, it was like summer. I almost put on my two-piece swimsuit. Don't get a visual of that. I almost just went walking half naked. <laughs> and then now it's freezing again. Mm. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi. Hi, hi, one of my best students. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? I am so happy to see the rhinos. It gives me great joy, like great, great joy. It's just such a pleasure. I love when you log in. It makes me happy, very happy. And you know why we're here, rhinos, right? We, we want to stay connected, up to date um, of what's going on, out of sight out of mind we don't want you to ever think there's nothing going on at rhino we've forgotten mm -mm. so i'm always going to be here um, i'm saying again it could be half a rhino i will be here it's just me alone and i'll be here never happen and i'm praying that never happens why do we always have rhinos showing up every day every day every day i love it mm. oh boy you know today well well, not today, but uh, yes, today is the last weekend of Black History Month. For those who care, I guess I do, right? I don't have a choice. Look at my skin color. They gave us February as the month for Black History. So, hey, I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> um, so it's just a few more days. Black History will end until, the, I guess, they'll put it in the vote until next February. And today I said, I, um, I was thinking to myself, maybe I should just take a few minutes and highlight some people in history that have been forgotten, although they made a contribution. So if you don't mind, if you don't mind, let me see who's coming in so I could shout them out before I go, before I continue. Okay, come on in rhinos, we're here, we're waiting. I see if they can hear me, right? How silly. <laughs> Oh my God. So today, um, I just wanted to highlight just a few, if you don't mind rhinos, right? You don't mind, right? Like um, the African-American female uh, mathematicians like Katherine Johnson and Mary Jackson and Dorothy Vaughn, who were hugely important in the early days of the American space program. Um, and despite their contribution, those women and their stories have remained mostly unknown, right? to the public. Although in 2017, I believe the uh, movie was made about them, Hidden Figures. If you have not seen that movie, try, try finding that movie for this weekend. It, it's a beautiful movie. Um, I, I believe every, every young child should watch it and every adult. Uh, it's just, it's history. Um, a Bernard Rustin, everyone remembers the match on Washington, but sadly only few remembers the man who was one of the primary organizers of the match. And uh, Bayard, Bayard, that's his name, right? Bayard Rustin was a key figure in the civil rights movement years before it got, um, it started getting the attention that it did. He instigated one of the first freedom rights back in 1947. Just some history if you want, if you care to know. And was one of the founders of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. He was one of Martin Luther King Jr.'s most important advisor. I didn't know that until I was researching. And Rustin was often being overlooked because he was an openly gay man at the time when it was considered unacceptable. So that maybe that's why we don't hear too much about him. Oh well, and then there's a Robert Small, who was a civil war expert, um, who civil war expert might know the name of Robert Small, but the average American doesn't. Um, Small was a slave on a Confederate transport ship when he, when he led an uprising 
that freed the people being held on board. No, just a rebel, a rebel like myself. <laughs> they would subsequently sail north to freedom and um, this helped led Abraham Lincoln to reconsider the use of African-Americans as soldiers in the Civil War, something many were opposed to. So Smalls would later go on to serve in the United States Congress. Good for you. And then there's Lewis Latimer. Um, so you know that Thomas Edison created one of the first light bulbs to work, right? But did you know that originally his bulbs would not, would, it would only last a few days. Uh, so this was definitely not long enough to be practical. And of course, enters Louis Latimer, the son of an escaped slave and an inventor in his own right, who created a filament that extended the life of the bulb. I love, I love light, so thank you, Latimer. Uh, that made the light bulb cheaper and more efficient, making it possible for them to be used on the streets and in the average person's home. Who could stay without light? But you know, these are the people that we do not get to hear about. We hear about the Martin Luther Kings and the Rosa Parks, but the, the, those people matter. They change um, how things are done in the US. They change, they made history, but you don't get to hear about them all the time. I just thought it was interesting and maybe I could share if that's okay. Oh, one, okay, Betsy Coleman, one of her, one of 13 children born to sharecroppers in, 19, in 1892, rather. Betsy Coleman took an interest in flying after hearing the stories of pilots in WWI. And being both female and African-American, she found it difficult to find anyone to train her in the US. So this did not stop her, of course. She simply went on to France and trained there. She ultimately became the first African-American woman to get both a national and international pilot's license. Go Betsy. Let me see if all my rhinos are in while I'm just talking. Hi, Laura. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. Not every hero gets a front page headline, right? And many remains in the shadow, but that doesn't lessen a contribution. Just like we rhinos, right? We rhinos, we're making valuable contribution to society. And maybe one day, who knows, we will be added to the history books. I don't know. I'm thinking. I am thinking. How's Rhinos doing? So how's everybody doing? That's just a little about history, if you don't mind. I guess you did not mind. You stick around. How's everybody doing? What's the plans for the weekend? Talk to me. Anything interesting going on? How about you, Michael? Are you going out on a, I don't know. I, 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 I try to hold my tongue. I almost say something like on a date, but it could be a date with your wife. It could be, I don't know. I don't know. How's everybody doing? Talk to me. Don't forget to use the drop down arrow in the uh, chat so that everybody could get on, get in on the conversation. And of course, if it's a private message to me, you can use the host only. And I'll try to make sure I read first before I spill information that I shouldn't share. Okay, so let's get started. I'm not gonna keep you here too long. So, ooh, I have a, um, a sweet in my mouth and I beat on it and it made some noise, I'm sorry. <laughs> Welcome to Rhino World, live with V, where our mission is our focus and our focus is you. Okay, so if you're joining me for the first time, let me see if we have any new rhinos. I had not seen any new rhinos. Okay, it seemed like Mm, one or two. Okay, it doesn't matter. It could be half a rhino. Welcome, 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 welcome. Um, so this is Rhino World where we cover everything rhino. If you have a question, a suggestion, an idea, you could tell us. We want to hear it. Okay, we keep our rhinos informed and up to date on all the latest developments. And you'll hear some of that in a bit. We keep our community engaged. We get to know each other and each other's businesses. We share ideas. We inspire each other. And this is also the place where we show you how to maneuver on the Rhino web page, right? So if you wanted to, if it's if you first, if it's your first time here and you saw the page through a link that was sent to you, but you do, you're not sure what works and what everything does, this is the place we do that. Um, and most importantly, we're here because we want to stay connected and we want to have live interaction daily. So thank you, Rhinos for keeping this platform alive. I appreciate you, I love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for always dropping by. I know your time is important. 
Oh, somebody's having a birthday next week. What date is it, Michael? What date is your birthday so we can shout you out next week? What day next week? And I'm making notes. I love these things. I love when I love when we share. March 2nd. Okay. March 2nd. What day is March 2nd? I think uh Thursday. Make sure you come on so we can shout you out and, and wish you a very happy birthday. Okay, okay. That's so cool. I love to know these things, Rhino. Like, look, that's where I'm, that's why I'm here, right? So we can get to know each other. No, get, we, I know we don't get to see physically see each other, although I've invited the rhinos several times to come on and co-host with me. Let the other rhinos put a face to the name. We have some rhinos that are here religiously, right? They do not miss a live. They always there. They always in the comments. You know, they always um, in the chat. Rather, we would like to see a face. So come and just schedule a day with me. It's a five, 10 minutes. We're just gonna hear, ask you what's your name? How long you've been a rhino? Like, why do you care about rhino? No simple questions. Tell us a fun fact about you. It'll be fun, nothing difficult. Just, it'll be really fun, okay? So don't forget, I'm gonna put my email in the chat again. It's v at rhino research LLC. And that's for the benefits of those on the phone. Rhino Research, let me make sure it's spelled correctly, llc.com and shoot me out an email. I will be sending out an email at the end of the week. Uh, and I'm hoping to see a lot of responses um, and just telling me how we're doing or what do you like? What would you like to see? How could we spice things up? You know, anything. We love input. All right, Rhinos. So, um, um, what's going on at Rhino? I always like to tell you what's going on at Rhino. And if you're not here, so just in case you don't miss anything. So we're in the process of disrupting the search industry by inventing an opposite but logical choice. Rhinostreet.com, right? We all know about it. We're waiting for it. The prototype is done. They, they're nearly done with every everything. It's all coming together, Rhinos, okay? We believe that the overwhelming majority would choose to support a local business over Wall Street company any day if given a choice. And if it's because of that knowledge that we're going forward and we're creating the first, very first small business um, search engine, search engine, that's too many S for me. That almost hit my tongue, right? Um, so because people, we believe people need a choice, they have a choice and they will do better if they know better. So we're going around and we're gonna be educating people, um, small businesses on why they wanna be a, um, become a search result and, and the population really, why it's important to support a small business. So I'm excited about what we're doing. I hope you are too, because we are, we are making history, right? And it's Black History Month. We're making history. Our commercial will be airing mid-March. Um, Anthony did the final st the stages, I believe, last, well, this week, earlier this week. So that's ready. It's, they're just dotting every I and crossing every T. That ready. We will get to see it. Rhinos first. So we'll see it first. So don't worry about that. And I'll let you know, of course. I'll keep you in on all the scoop. So I'll let you know when it's going to air and that way you don't miss that live. Hi, Justin. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. We're happy that you're here. Um, okay, our distributive marketing link, uh, which has served us well, will soon be going to rest in a vault. Rest in peace, distributive marketing link. But yep, um, it will be all rhinostreet.com, right? So that's coming soon. Rhino will be going to, well, coming to a town hall meeting near you, right? In your state, in your city, very, very soon, come April 2022. I'm just excited about all that's going on. I just want to keep you, just let you know that it's happening. It's happening. Uh, our entire site is getting a facelift. And as you already know, we have the state of the art website, right? I mean, just log on to, go on to distributed marketing and then you'll see that beautiful site, right? It's user-friendly already, but they're making it even more user-friendly. Um, as a matter of fact, I know for a fact that it's ready. It's not been um, released yet. It's not, they're not, they're not making the shift to that new site yet, but it's ready. Okay, okay. 
Um, all right, I believe we're just waiting for our new search engine to be fully functional and just get everything running. Whew. So, you know what you don't have to wait for any longer? The new affiliate rewards program. So I know that for a fact that sometime next week, I'm not sure, maybe Tuesday, maybe Wednesday, it doesn't matter. Sometime next week, we are gonna um, launch the new affiliate program. Um, and then of course it will have better messaging, better tracking, better rewards. If you think that it's better rewards, because now we have the, you have the option of having um, a $5 cash reward, or you could convert that to Rhino coins. Now, those that know the value of Rhino coins and what it will potentially be, like myself, I want Rhino coins. Leave the $5 cash, give me the coins. But hey, you have an option, you have a choice. We always like to give people choices at Rhino, right? This is why we have our Rhino Street Search Engine. So you will have that choice. Um, I'm excited about that. I will let you know what day. And of course, we'll send out the email beforehand so you know what exactly will be going on on the live. Um, huge deal. Oh, Michael, you are here. Huge deal. Our Rhino merch will soon change to reflect our Rhino color, which is lime green. So Michael, there you got it. You got your color. He was talking about he, yesterday on the live. I believe he wanted. Um, he was asking if we were going to have a different color because summer is coming up. And I'm like, I love black. Why should? But he got support in the chat. People uh, agreed with him. They wanted a different color. Our rhino color is lime green. So yes, we are changing our merch to lime green. Um, thank God I already have some black ones, so I will have that. I love that. Um, okay, so things are about to be kicked into high gear, really, if so to speak, at Rhino, and I'm thrilled to be part of it. I hope you are too. Let me see, um, what's going on in the chat before we continue. <laughs> Michael, I thought you'd be now. Yesterday, when I reached out to Anthony, I'm like, the, um, the rhinos were asking, are we changing the colors? So, in my head. I believe that our colors were black. Don't ask me why. Like I came into Rhino seeing the black, but then Anthony told me the whole reason about the black. Um, it was, sorry, us being like in the dark and now we're coming out in the light. So there was a reason. So look guys, today, today really our focus will be on the charity. And of course I cannot speak charity if I don't mention our merch. So I will encourage you to get your blacks because they're about to become obsolete. We're going to move in with our greens. So you want to have something black to remember because these are the, um, how do we call it? The beginning stages rather than thing. And you want, to, you, want, you want to say, I was there in the beginning. Look, I have something to prove it. So I, I have pretty much mostly like everything rhino in black. And um, today I'm going to see what else I could buy because today, whatever we purchase, whatever we donate for our charity, Anthony is personally from his own pocket, going to match every single thing. So I'm here today to plead and beg, if I have to, the rhinos to let's mm, take advantage of, uh, on that. Every month we highlight a charity and this month it just happened to be our furry friends. So I'm jumping the gun a little. Let me just go down and make sure I gave you all the good juiciness. And I believe that I did. Um, tomorrow I will have an update for the week and on Monday I normally do that so if I missed up anything come on tomorrow okay so today we're just going to keep things light and sweet I want to get you on your way today is the beginning of the weekend you may have plans Michael have plans great plans he says he's going to be working that's a plan um, we're going to concentrate on the charity whether it's a person whether it's an animal our charity is here to help right so Ooh, our charity have chosen for this month. Let me see. Let me see. So we're highlighting Somerset Regional Animal Shelter, which is located in Bridgewater, New Jersey. And they are a great organization that provides care for many animals in Somerset County. They are several different, they have several different programs, offerings include 24-7 animal control service adoption. They trap and neuter and return stray cats. They also accept animals for surrender um, from families who are no longer able to care for the animals. So if you have a pet and then you're not able to care for that pet anymore, 
they will take that pet from you. They offer microchipping services for animals that are adopted as well as the other anim um, animals in the community. When I say animals, I'm talking about the pets, right? Like, like small dogs and cats and not cows and horses. <laughs> um, they also give behavioral and training advice and they assist in finding lost pets. So they're doing a lot. Um, so I'm just gonna tell you how your sacrificial donation, and I'm assuming the donation today, right? I always believe in speaking things that are not as if they were. So I'm assuming today that you are gonna give a sacrificial donation. And I just wanted to show you how your donation will go, into a, go a long way to helping those furry friends of ours, okay? So a $20 donation can feed a homeless pet for two weeks. That's not a lot, right? Just last night, me and my husband went for a quick bite to eat. And before we know it, it was like 50 something dollars. And I'm like, I did not enjoy that food. And he was like, I didn't eat it. I feel like it was a waste of 50 something dollars. And that's not even including the tea. I'm like, I should have just stayed home and eat a piece of bread and butter. So $20 being able to feed a homeless pet for two weeks, that's huge. Um, $50 donation vaccinates a homeless pet. Uh, $100 donation provides wellness exams for homeless uh, senior pets. So those all pets that are dying for pets, that could help them out a bit. A $250,000 um, $50, $250 donation, care for a litter of kittens or puppies from birth right up to adoption. And a $500 donation pays for treatment for a seriously ill or injured pet um, entire care, okay? So, wow. I know that's a mouthful. Um, we're not asking you for 500, 250, 100, or even 50, right? We're just asking you to, if you can, if you care to, if you care, because as a rhino, we care, right? If you could support, I will go switch over to my, my page in a little while, I'll share my page, and I will just show you how you could get something for yourself. And by doing that, that helps uh, um, one of our furry friends. Okay, so... Um, like I've heard also that, and I heard that from Abigail and Abigail, she was our project manager. She volunteered with them for a little bit, I think in 2017, she also adopted a dog from there. So she speaks very highly of them. They said, she said that they truly agree. They are truly a great organization and they provide so much care for the animals. Um, they really take uh, their time to ensure that the pet who gets adopted goes to a qualified family. So they don't just give out the pets just for getting rid of them. They have to make sure that you are able to take care of the pet, that you even care for animals like that. So um, that I, I believe that's wonderful what they're doing. I really hope like we have some animal lovers in here. Or not, it doesn't matter because I, look, I have to be totally honest. I really did not I don't, I, I don't want to sound terrible when I say it. Like I, I never really fought about animals in any, uh, I, I didn't give it much thought. Let's just say that. I never really gave them much thought. I mean, I, I, I know animals, uh, animals. I know the pets. People have animals as pets. I don't. Until I met the, most, the two most beautiful, beautiful cats ever which happened to be my son-in-law, Anthony. He has two beautiful cats, Kira and Rex. I love them. They're like human beings. Um, maybe if we have time, I could show you a picture of them. They're so thick and just beautiful. I love them. I love them. And I'm like, oh my God, my heart literally opened up for animals like for the first time. They, they're so loving. They will just come and rub on you. And uh, some people might say, oh, I mean, they leave all their fur on you, but it's just, it's just so nice. And I'm telling you, most times when I babysit, those cats will stay at the door until morning, just waiting for Anthony and his and my daughter to return. And I'm like, they're not coming. Go to bed. They're not. They're not. They're staying up. Just loving, just loving. Um, I think I had some information. Let me see. I I know during uh, the pandemic, the 2020 pandemic, a lot of people credited their pets to saving their lives. Like, look, they don't talk about that in the media. They talk about how many people got COVID, how many people died from COVID, but nobody really speaks about how many people died by taking their own life or committing suicide. And most people credited their pets for being the thing that kept them from going on to the other side, pretty much. 
So um, they have a place in our life. They have a place in society. And if we could do something, you know, just to care, just to show love. I know we cannot take care of everybody or every pet, but that's the charity that we're highlighting this month. If you care, if it touches your heart, there's no forcing, you know, here is, I'm just here telling you how I feel. And hopefully you feel that way too. And then we can help support them. I already purchased some things that will go towards that. And maybe today, because Anthony is matching everything today, I'm going to get something else so that that match could go to the, the shelter. Okay. Um, and I, I truly believe, I truly believe, and that's my belief. You have yours, I have mine. I truly believe that, that a life without charitable giving is like a life that's lacking. That's just how I feel. Everybody have a different feeling. It's no shame or no putting anything on anybody. Like that's how I believe. Because in myself, like I, I honestly cannot imagine never giving. I've always been a giving person. From the time I was this high, like I, I've always been like that. So it's something that's in me. I'm not sure if you're born with it, if it's something you become, but I always like that. I always give it. I'm always giving. I'm always giving, not to boast, not to, it's not about that. It's just something that I do. I, like I honestly cannot help myself. And of course you cannot give, you will never be able to outgive the creator. Look, I'm telling you, everything you give, it comes back to you. Whether you realize that it was from your giving or not, it comes back to you because that's just what the words say. If you, a Christian, if you believe in the word, that's just what it say. Like you, you, you give and it comes right back to you. So you, it's not really like you're not losing anything when you give. Actually, you're gaining when you give. It's not strange though, but it's true. I believe it. Anyway, what's going on in the chat, Rhinos? I've been talking for a long time. I see more people have joined us. Welcome, Gary. Welcome. Welcome, Joe. So happy to have you here. I love you, Rhinos. You make my day, I'm telling you. I've, I've been talking a lot, right? I just want to hear from you. What do you feel? Do we have any pet lovers in the group? Or anybody who owns pets? I believe one or two rhinos said that the last time I asked. And I said, send me pictures. Send me photos of your, of your pets. And nobody did. Oh, well. But today, I'm really hoping. Today, it's all about our charity. Every day, we highlight a different area. I've been on the partnership, partnership, the ownership. And that's cool, too. But today, we're going to take the time off just for our charity. I will share my screen, um, which I should go ahead and do now, right? It's 1227. We're not going to have a very long, long life today. Say yay. OK, so let me go ahead and share my screen. Oopsie. Okay. All right. And I'm going to go to, let me see, bing.com. For now. And distributive marketing. For now. Everything is for now. I am so looking forward to rhinostreet.com. And we're still at number one. I always say that because I'm happy about that. Okay. So I'm going to head down to our charity page. Today, it's all about Rhino Charity. Get excited, somebody. Say yay. So it's not a long video. If you don't mind, I could just show it. It's not long. See, I said that. I told you, right? It was, it's not long. Um, I believe the, the website, if you wanted to know more, um, let me, the website is srasng.org. Okay, and that's pretty much their website. If you wanted to take a look around, just see what they do. Maybe you might want to volunteer. You never know. Maybe something will catch your hat. Um, there's different events. You could get to see what's going on every single month. Uh, maybe, who knows, um, if you know somebody, a friend with a lost pet and they're trying to get it, it's free. They help you find that pet. Um, also, there is the adoption program, the forms that you could fill out. 
and just the services pretty much in general that they that they offer. So the only button I will say, please do not click is that donate button. We want you to come to our webpage. And let me go back to Rhino and use our donate button because we, we will be making a donation to them this month. And hopefully it's a very nice donation. Rhinos, you showed up and you showed out last month. We made a thousand dollar donation, which was $200 more from what we did in December. So we cannot lower our standards now, right? So these are our merch for now. Again, Rhinos, let me remind you, the black is going away. So get everything that you love right now in black. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get the tote bag because I want to have history, right? I want to put those things in my vault. <laughs> so there's something here for everybody. Um, look, I just got the mouse pad. So that goes to help with the charity this month. I already have the mug. My husband is asking me for a mug. So most likely I'm, I will have to get another mug. And I could tell you, it's a very beautiful ceramic mug. You, you can actually put it on display in your house. You, you may not even need to drink your tea from there. Just put it so beautiful. I have mine right here. I'm not sure if you can see the little screen is so small now, but it's beautiful, beautiful. Um, of course, you could always, the winter is going away for some of us. Some of you in Florida, you never have winter, so you may not need the beanie. But the beanie is beautiful. I have two, one for me, one for my husband. I love them. I wear them on live sometimes. The hat, they call it a dad hat. I don't know why, because I would wear it. A mom hat too. And they're not expensive. You know, they're not like crazy expensive. And I'm just saying, if you get those things for yourself, there's no additional donation just by by purchasing one of those items, 100% of, of what you, of your purchase goes directly towards the charity of the month. So um, you're getting something for something. And if you so desire, like you have everything, like some of us almost do, and you want to put it in cash, we do have that $25 donate button. You could multiply that by 50. You could do it all by, by one or by two. So you could, but it's a, it's a minimum of 25 dollars so um i hope i'm speaking to your heart rhinos we rhinos that's what we do we we give to our community to we we help out and of course it comes right back to you i i'm not sure if people are, people care too much about the mass anymore but just as uh i would want the mass just to keep right i love keeping things like that just to have it there and like i could go back years later and say look remember Remember 2020, then the pandemic, and we are all in masks for four or five years? <laughs> okay, there's small, you could even make a small donation of $3, like, like $3, that's easy, right? You could get a beautiful sticker. I got every size. There's a three by three, four by six, um, five by something, I can't remember, but I have every size. I use one on the back of my phone. I love it. It's almost like it's a case. They do have the cases also for the iPhones. And I guess you can choose what iPhone you have and for the Samsung. Okay, let's see what's going on in the chat. I don't like chatting by myself and not getting, oopsie, not hearing from everyone. Okay, what's going on in the chat? All right, Rhinos, are you sleeping? I mean, I know it's, Friday, you're tired, right, from all the work, but you're not sleeping on me, are you? Put a thumbs up in the chat. Let me know. Say I'm right here with you, V. I am not asleep. Say I am not asleep, V. <laughs> yeah, Justin, I agree. I agree. And, and of course, my daughter tells me all the time, black is not a color, mommy. Oh, well, I don't care. Black is my color. Black is my favorite color. If it's not a color, oh, well. Then what is it then? So I love the black. I look forward to the green, but I really do love the black. And I'm glad I have so many pieces of the black. Um, so yeah, so I'm hoping Rhinos that you're gonna support today. I hope you're not gonna leave me hanging and let me do this by myself. Let's take advantage of Anthony's matching donations. You know, today's a great day to, to do that. Um, let's see. We have Woody's, we have, look, if you have grandbabies like I do, I already got him one, his mom got him one, so he has two. Maybe we'll leave one for his sister coming soon. That's me speaking things into being. 
okay? The t-shirts are nice. They're like a, like a black with, I, I'm, I'm not sure how to explain it, but like the, it's black, but yet it has almost like a, like a gray shade in it. I'm not sure how to explain it. So it's not like, like devil black, <laughs> devil black, right? Where did I come up with this thing? Um, it's not like black, black, but it's black. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. What, what I'm trying to say, it's beautiful. It's nice. You should, you could have one of those t-shirts. As a matter of fact, a t-shirt would be a nice thing to keep. And then you could always go back and say, look, when Rhino, when we were in the dark, when nobody knew about us, that's how we looked. Black. Now we're green. We're bright. We're thriving. We're everywhere. Oh, okay, Rhino. So I believe I showed you everything for today. That's our charity. I don't think there's anything else I can tell you. If you so, if you choose not to support, it's you. There's no forcing you to do it. Um, we have beautiful merch, as you can see. I love everything that we have. I really truly want this tote bag just for wanting its sake. We're out of the the backpack. Um, so to the rhinos, you are maybe the kids. They took they bought that for the kids. I'm waiting for my rhino mouse pad. That will look so cool on my desk. <sighs> What's going on, rhinos? I love you, rhinos. You are all here. <laughs> Just to say we aren't asleep. I would hate to think that I could put people to sleep because I have this powerful voice, right? It's like a trumpet. I do not need a mic. Look, I'm very involved in my church. I say that all the time. I'm very involved in my church. I'm, look, I'm the church administrator. I'm a deaconess. Um, so I'm always on the altar. I'm always speaking. And I kid you not, I do not need a mic. I could stay from one end of the church and everybody will hear me. My voice just carries. So for somebody to fall asleep on me, that will be total disrespect, right? Those total. <laughs> and I will not accept it because my voice should wake you up. Hmm. I used to, I used to um, be a hospice nurse, so to speak. And um, my patients would say that, oh, your voice is so soothing. Like you can put me to sleep. Now that I will accept. But to be on my live and fall asleep. Mm -mm. <laughs> so Michael, go ahead and get something black. Okay, tell me rhinos in the chat. Who have what? And please do not tell me there's a rhino in here that do not have a piece of merch. Who have what? Let me know. Michael, what do you have? What merch do you have? Do you have a t-shirt, a beanie? Justin, what do you have? Come on, rhinos, tell me. I'm putting you on blast today. You need to tell me, what do you have? Come on, I'm waiting. Joe, what do you have? What merch? Bruce, tell me, Gary. I'm putting you on blast today. Tell me in the chat, what piece of um, rhino merch do you have? That'll be so interesting. And don't lie, don't lie. Okay, don't lie. I, I, because I pretty much know most of the rhinos who have some things. So tell me, Richard, tell me, what do you have? What piece of merch do you have? That'll be so interesting. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Nobody's telling me. Okay. All right. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to take it that you are going to get a piece of your rhino merch today. That's what the quiet means, right? Quiet means OV. I do not have it yet, but I'm going to get it today. And I believe you rhinos. I believe you. You do not lie, right? Okay. Rhinos. I'm just messing with you. Look, it's up to you. It's your choice. Hey, uh, new rhinos, they thank you for joining us. If you like, you could also support our furry friends by just getting one a uh, piece or two of our merch or just donating. It doesn't matter. We're not discriminating. Oh, okay, Justin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Justin. I will be looking out for that. Thank you. And look, rhinos, you do not have to give every single month, right? We, we don't expect that. We... we Look, we're not rich yet. We're not millionaires yet. I'm just asking, if it, if it pulls on your heart, if you so desire, it's, it's part of what we do, right? Rhino Charity is as much Rhino as Rhino um, Marketplace and Rhino, you know, I'm saying partnership and Rhino ownership and Rhino wealth. It is part of us, so I, I cannot not talk about it. 
And of course, we that's what we will be doing every single month, highlighting a different charity. Because that's Rhino. That's what we do. And I'm not expecting every single month you're going to contribute. But I love it when you do. So I have one commitment. Justin is going to help me out. So Justin and myself, we're going to be on the page as soon as... You know what? Let me share this. Um, let me share the Rhino. The... Hmm. Let me go back to our... So just make life easy, right? Let me close this chat out here for a little bit. I'm going to copy the link right now in the chat. Okay. A new rhino, it look, it's easy. Just click on the link and you can it'll take you straight to our rhino charity. And of course, you could, yes, you can be a contributor to our charity this month. Thank you. Thank you. So let me see what's going on before I go over to end our live. Um, oh, you are welcome, Justin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You got it all wrong. Thank you. <laughs> I love you, Rhinos. I see that everybody is still here with us. I love it. Thank you. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and stop our share. If there's any questions, any questions, anything, anything, anything that I need to answer while I'm still on the page. All right, so I'm just gonna stop. You know what? I promised I was gonna show Anthony's cats. Let me just see if I could pull that up. Uh, let me see if I could pull that up. Oh, uh oh, I think I accidentally stopped the share. Let me let me go back. Hold on. I don't want that. Um, okay, there you have it. And you can see my screen, right? Oh, don't watch my emails, people. I share my wrong screen. So that's um, Kira and Rex. Now, please don't ask me which is which. I don't know. And that's Anthony with those two beautiful, beautiful cats. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool, Rhinos? Okay, so I'm just, I, I, I guess there, there's more, but I don't wanna show them. Uh, it's upside down. Okay, so I'm just gonna stop the share now. Okay, Rhinos, and we will, I will let you go on your merry way. So, reminder before you go, the thought for the week is if you can dream it, you can achieve it. And that's true if you believe it. Hey, I added something and it's nice. So Walt Disney said it. If you can dream it, you can achieve it. And I just added. And it's true if you believe it. All right. So join me tomorrow, Rhinos. Rhino World is at 11 a.m. I know it might be a little bit early for you. But lie in your bed. Just put your laptop close to you or your phone. And you could join me. I'm, I don't, I'm not seeing you, okay? So if you're not made up and you, you're still in your pajamas, I don't see you. I just want you to be here with me tomorrow. Um, hang out with me for a few minutes. I'll have updates for you. Um, we'll talk about charity again tomorrow, so don't be bored. But just come and join me tomorrow, right? That's what I'm saying. And remember to share your affiliate links. You will get rewarded. Plus, you get to be a superhero to your friends because you will introduce them to a better future. And that's what we're doing at Rhino. So I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you, thank you. Mm, thank you for joining me. See you tomorrow, Rhinos. Bye. Thank you, Michael. I will have a wonderful weekend. The weekend has already started. Bye, Saints. Bye, Laura. Bye, Michael. Bye, Justin. Bye, Gary. Bruce. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. It was so nice to have you here with me. Mm.